Hello friends, welcome back to another video. This is the first time in a very long time where I've just sat down and done a video. <laughs> so, bear with, bear with. Today, we are going to be doing, as per the title and the thumbnail, all my manga first volumes that I own. So, there is a caveat to this. These are just the manga that I only have the first or first or second volumes of. Any that I have more than that of, so like Windbreaker, Children X, um, Spy Family, um, Chainsaw Man, I'm not going to include them in this. And there's like Vampire Knight as well. I'm not going to include them in this because these are all going to form part of a vlog where I read volume 1 of these different series. So, without further ado, we're going to just dive into it because this is going to be long. First up, we have Vampire Dormitory. This is... Is it BL? No, it's not BL. It says, Mito has no family to rely on. She lives on the streets disguised as a boy. Ruka is an otaku vampire, interested in only 2D girls. After Ruka saves Mito from a perilous situation, he makes her an offer. Become my subservient thrall and let me drink your blood. Whenever I wish in return, you can live with me in the boys' dorm. I don't know if this has been my thing or not, but I thought I'd give it a go. Next up, we have whoever steals this book, <laughs> obviously. It was about books. So, descended from a long line of book collectors, high school student before you is surrounded by books in every aspect of her life. Her great-grandfather established the famous Bakura Hall, a library in the heart of town, and even the town's people are all avid readers. There's just one problem. Mifuyu hates books. I'm going to leave that there. But, well, we'll see what happens with that one. For this one, I've watched the manga. No, I've not. For this one, I've watched the anime. I just haven't read the manga, so I'm going to continue the anime and I'll see if it goes in a different direction with the manga, if it goes in the same one. This follows a young boy who, it's an alternate, alternate world one, so this doctor, this pharmacist, dies, gets transported to another world as a young lord. Is he a lord? A young pharmacologist gives his life through his research, dies from overwork, finds himself reincarnated as a boy, son of a court physician. And it's another world. I think I think the term for this is Izakai. Maybe wrong. I'm still getting used to manga terms, but it's an other world. There's an there's a whole genre of manga where it's like you die and get transported to another world or you get transported to another world. I'm finding that I like watching them. Whether or not I like reading them is another thing. Speaking of other worlds, we've got the Saviour's Book Cafe story in another world. And this is a book lover's fantasy. Tsukina is a single 30-something office worker whose favourite thing is curling up with a good book. Whose isn't? Whose isn't? When a god tells her that she must go to another world to become its magical saviour. Tsukina isn't interested. She has zero desire to go on some grand hero's journey. So when she arrives in this strange new land, she decides to use her magical powers to create a cosy little book cafe instead. I think this is going to be cosy, cute, and the vibes that I need to just... I feel warm and fuzzy inside, so we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. And this is one that I've started the anime of and then I've stopped and I'm going to start the manga. And this is Fear and Beyond Journey's End. This follows, I think she's an elf or elf adjacent. She's got plenty of years anyway. Mage. She's a mage, but she looks like an elf. If Mage Fierin and her courageous fellow adventurers have defeated the Demon King and brought pieces of life, will out will long outlive the rest of her family party how will she be co come to understand what life means to the people around her so I have seen where this starts and it shows us what she does with this party the decades after the victory a funeral of one of her f at the, the funeral of one of her friends confronts Fierin with her own near immortality Fierin sets out to fulfill the last wishes of her comrades and finish and finds herself beginning a new adventure so again, I think this could be like a cozy. It's not gonna be an action one anyway. That's it. This is Dandaran. What is this about? I don't know. I saw this 
who did it, who who recommended this? I can't remember, but I picked it up on a recommendation from someone. Um, Momo Ayasi strives to build unusual friendship friendship with a school's UFO fanatic, whom she nicknames Okurun, because he has a name that is not to be said out aloud. While Momo lives, oh, while Momo believes. In spirit, she thinks aliens are nothing but nonsense. Her new friend, meanwhile, thinks the exact opposite. So, yes. And this is really creepy because, um, the thing, the thing behind, what is this? Is that supposed to be a person? I don't know. Interesting, anyway. This one is, hi, I'm a witch and my crush wants to make me a love potion. I don't know. I'm not going to read the synopsis for this one because... Obviously, she's a witch. She has a crush on this guy, and this guy was a love potion, obviously for someone else. So that can't work out, can it? This one is called Ten Count. This is one I'm not 100% sure that I'm gonna like, which is why I got a used copy um, from Sci-Fi. I will always link my Sci-Fi code below and in the description. Um, I do have a Sci-Fi code, by the way. Just a little plug there. This is why I'm not sure if I'm going to enjoy or not because it's quite controversial and I'm well aware that it's not going to be for everyone which is why I'm going to wait and just read this first. So basically this guy is going through therapy and he becomes attracted to his therapist during this sort of like 10 step process. But it doesn't say if it's reciprocated. So again we'll see. We shall see about that one. The next the next one I had to try. My stone hmm, my lovely dovey wife is a stone cold killer. Do we need to know any more than that? Do we? No, but we'll go into it anyway. Meet Sasuna. She's cute, sexy and deadly. When she's not out murdering people as a professional assassin, she's nesting at home trying to adjust to domestic life with her husband. Love it. Sounded sounds great. Super smashing great. This is love and heart. This came wrapped. But it doesn't sound super smutty. It doesn't have the explicit warnings on it, but it does mention suicide. So I'm thinking that might be why it was wrapped. But I'm not going to go into this. Obviously, it's some kind of love story between these two. We shall see. This was one that was influenced by cake tins. And this is The Other World's Book Depends on the Bean Counter. It's a BL manga. And it says, once upon a time, in the not too distant past, a holy maiden was summoned. Not just any holy maiden, one hailing from modern Japan. But this story is not her story. This is the tale of the humble accountant, Kondu, who accompanied her and his child and his trials and woes as the accounts in a new in a new world. This just sounds super adorable. Super adorable. And then last of the shorter ones, shorter as in height. This is Kaiju number 8. I've already seen the, man the anime of this. I couldn't wait to collect all the manga before I found out what this series was about. Gem raves about this series, so I had to dive in as soon as it was available on Crunchyroll and do not disappoint. It did, it did not disappoint. Kafka, Hibino, just the vibes. We then have a stack of taller ones. The first one, yet again, is a gem rack. Is the way of the house husband. He works for the accuser, he's now a house husband, but he approaches all household tasks as if it was an accuser hit. So, do with that as you will. I did try the anime, but I didn't fully get along with the first couple of episodes. I might try and continue it, but I've heard the manga is brilliant, so there we go. Next up, we have The Villainess and The Demon Knight. Again, it's kind of like a romance one. It doesn't... Oh, this one is explicit. Oh, this one was wrapped. Yeah, I think this one was wrapped when it arrived. This has other explicit content. Parent advisory warning. When noblewoman Cecilia realises she's been reincarnated into an Otome game. See, reincarnation is a thing that I seem to like in the animators. Will I like it in the manga? I don't know. Her shock is further complicated by the fact that she's the villainess. There's a couple of villainess manga that I really like the look of, and that was one of them, so I picked it up. Next is One Dance, and I need a one dance. I think this was also a gem wreck. She, uh, this is one where I've got volume one and two. Um, 
and I haven't even started yet. <laughs> but it was a gem wreck, so I'm just assuming I'm going to like it. A shy teenager happens on a classmate dancing alone, and her key joy turns, and her joy turns a key, unlocking something in his heart. Why? 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 Better make me cry. This is Blue Period. It's about a boy who likes art. Your Tara is a perfect high school student with good grades, lots of friends. It's an effortless performance and ultimately a dull one. But he wanders into the art room one day and a lone painting captures his eye, awakening him to a new kind of beauty he never knew. So, here we go. Two more. We have the Yakuza's Guide to Babysitting. He works for the Yakuza. His boss tries to rein him in because he is a little bit too yakuza -y. And in order to rein him in, he says, you need to look after my daughter. And it goes from there. Apparently, it's super, super cute. And then finally, there's some Hikaru died. This is a bit of a weirder one. This is definitely a gem wreck, but I don't know if it's going to be a me thing. Basically, um, Hikaru goes away and comes back. And it has, this thing has the cow's face and body, but his best friend, um, possibly more than what was a best friend, knows that it's not him. That's a really bad explanation, but basically something else is inside Hikaru's body and it's not Hikaru. And nobody else but his friend can tell. We have many a manga, many a, many a manga volume. We have... All of these, all of these are going to get read in a vlog. Um, when that vlog will be up, I don't know, but I will be starting that in the next couple of weeks. And then we're going to get on to the rest of what was, what was up here. So that's it for me this week. If you do like me and you want to see more of me, please like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. If you are here and you want to let me know you're here, but you don't have anything to say, Please leave a like, have you much appreciated. Until next time, enjoy whatever you know what you're doing, and I'll see you all in the next video.